Hi, and welcome to day one of finding the surface area of triangular prisms. So today we're just going to talk about what is a triang triangular prism. I'm trying to say that five times real fast. And just what we're going to call the different sides or faces. So when we're talking about finding the surface area, we're talking about finding the area of each of these different sides. So see this pink one here? This is a triangle, right? And we're gonna call that a, we would call that the front triangle, we could call it the left triangle, or we could even call it a base of the triangle, or sorry, a base triangle of this triangular prism. So there are two of these, here's the other one, and they have the same area as each other. They're gonna have the same measurements and the same area. So we have these two, one is the front, one is the back, or one is the left, one is the right, or they're both um, a base of this triangular prism, okay? So you'll notice that triangular prisms, they're gonna have these matching triangles. Then we have these rectangles, okay? And sometimes they could be matching, but typically they're probably not, you know? Just depends on the measurements of the triangle. Um, but this one, we would call that the front rectangle, okay? And this one we would call the rear or the back rectangle. And then this yellow one, that would be the bottom rectangle, okay? Um, we're just using words that describe where they are. Now, which one it is, is also based on how the, the triangular prism is shown to us, because this could be spun around in different directions. Remember that these lines are showing you something that is three-dimensional, but they're showing it to you in a drawing so it's in a two-dimensional space, but they're trying to show you, this is like a cheese wedge or something like that that would be three-dimensional, a doorstop, something that would actually, you would be able to touch and hold and spin and turn. These dotted lines are showing you, you actually in real life, if you were looking at this, you wouldn't be able to see through it, right? You can't, well, unless you have superpowers or something, but so, that's what we're just looking at today is getting familiar with these different sides. So you'll notice that there are five sides, five faces. There's the three rectangles, one, two, three, and the two triangles. So we're gonna get into it further when we're finding the surface area, we have to find the area of all of these faces, all of those shapes, and then we add them together and that will give us the surface area of the entire triangular prism. Okay, well, I hope that was helpful and good luck on your work for today. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.